Welcome back to my Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, and shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Warren Hollow today? As you can see, Leif is our visitor for today, so mm, basically you can do ignore him. I'm sorry, Leif. <laughs> I'm sorry, just uh, blame Nintendo for not giving you um, more long-lasting things um, for us to interact with. Uh, after we've played this game for about 500 days. And you might say, hey, you're kind of a minority for playing this game for 500 days in a row. Yeah, and I'm not going to dispute that. So really, I guess the blame is on me. <laughs> I don't know why I was going with this. Anyway, um, hello there, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, 6.12pm on Monday, October 25th, 2021. Enough to really speak of today. I was thinking about this actually earlier today. I was like, what is the most popular song in the world? And I, when, I, when I say popular, I don't mean popular as in like the most well-received song in the world. I, I suppose a, uh, the better phrasing would be what is the most recognised song in the world. Um, so I was thinking, I, I can't remember actually how I got onto it, but I think the right answer, I'm just going to spoil, spoil it for you because I was thinking about it myself. Hold on, I was thinking for Boo. Okay, so bear with me here. I was thinking, oh no, we, we've had this before. I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be the happy birthday song, right? Because that's... Uh, you, you might be tempted to, you know, say something like, oh, you know, The Human Rhapsody or some other, like, you know, Thriller by Michael Jackson or something like that. Well, yes, very popular songs. you got to, like, you got to think broader in my eyes. Oh, hello, Apollo. <laughs> you rarely see Apollo playing. you got to think broader and much wider appeal because you got to think about songs which are popular, not only in, of course, the West, but in other countries as well. Um, and Happy Birthday, I think that might be the only song which appears in almost all cultures except for you know like the remote like tribal nations of well maybe not nations or <laughs> but the tribes of amazon etc etc um at least it's most languages i think have a happy birthday song and it follows exactly the same tune also isn't it wasn't there some like weird controversy a while back where like the happy birthday song was no longer in public domain or something which is just weird <laughs> i don't think that stopped people whoa they're holding grain <laughs> and just running around wild um i didn't know if that was a thing that they they, they could do to be honest but here they are i suppose uh okay fossils fossils catch catch thing catch bugs and i immediately forgot what the other one was but it doesn't really matter um but some other things i, I thought of you know of other popular songs which are across my mind Oh, of course I said Bohemian, Ra Bohemian Rhapsody was literally the first thing that came to mind. I was like, no, wait, that's stupid because but, like, I don't think anyone in China has probably heard of it. Well, okay, maybe not anyone in China, but Bohemian Rhapsody is not very popular in China, um, for example. And something um, like Bohemian Rhapsody is not going to be particularly popular with... Um, uh, you're not allowed to move away. I'm sorry, Amelia. It's probably not going to be very popular with, like, you know, the, the free world, free worlds of a world of, or something like that. Because, you know... It's just <laughs> three worlds probably don't have much of appreciation for Queen or, you know, any other popular timeless artist. And um, things like that kind of uh, come and go, I suppose. They come in as trends and leave as trends. But very few songs have that sort of lasting power to last through multiple generations. And even those which do definitely are going to slowly fade over time. So I, I guess the question becomes, you know, what is like you need a really popular old song, which is ubiquitous and also... Um, um, apparent in many other cultures and countries, right? <laughs> so that's why I went set on a happy birthday. But you know what did cross my mind? The Baby Shark song. Because, you know, it, it, isn't it like the most viewed video on YouTube now? M music video, maybe? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it overtook Despacito. You know what? We can look ourselves right now. We can, we can see how many views Despacito and how many views Baby Shark has. Despacito. Let's see. 7.5 billion and then Baby Shark has 9.5 billion so baby shark has overtaken despacito and that's a thing which actually is um quite uh, popular in a lot of different countries as well um because baby shark at least the, the pink fong version um originated in like it's, it's a korean company right i think oh by the way there's like a whole baby shark like universe i, I don't i don't know if i've ever i feel like i've spoken about baby shark before in these animal crossing series you know you know what this is where you this way you go in youtube studio just to make sure you're not gonna before you go in this tirade about baby shark or whatever you just make sure you haven't really like covered it yet let's see baby shark no i haven't wow i've never titled a video baby shark doesn't mean i haven't talked about it before but yeah but, but that's like a whole you know universal baby shark <laughs> or things out there there's like so many different parodies i mean i guess i can't really blame them for being like oh you know we this baby shark video we made has gotten um 9.5 billion views which is uh by the way more uh than the amount of humans there are on earth <laughs> at this very moment why why wouldn't we uh jump on this cash cow cash cow or i suppose cash shark 
um, and you know milk it for every single penny it's worth you know fair enough I, I, I guess like from a business perspective I can't really blame blame them for that I guess children's uh, videos are quite a I'm not gonna say it's an untapped market I think it's you know a very tapped market <laughs> nowadays with YouTube kids and all that sort of thing and um, you know kids are not particularly picky I suppose about what they end up watching as long as it's entertaining in a certain aspect and I suppose Baby Shark ticks those um, boxes but I gotta say Baby Shark um, obviously is in multiple languages um, including you know like Korean Japanese it's probably in Chinese and I, I don't really know but you know what always annoyed me about Baby Shark is the English version is so much more lyrically boring compared to the, of the Japanese and probably the Korean versions of it. I'm not like I, I do know passable not not even passable Korean I only know like a few words in Korean and most of the words I know from Korean are just things which sound similar <laughs> like Chinese or Japanese but but the English version okay we'll go through Baby Shark do 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 Baby Shark do 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 Baby Shark do 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 Baby Shark but compared to the Japanese version like immediately Chibi Zame that just means Baby Shark do 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 Kawaii which means like cute you know, it's like a, a well I mean it does mean cute <laughs> just, you know a generic term of endearment I suppose or a very small you know child or well, I suppose literally a baby do 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 or you're gay which means like swim do 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 chibi zame you see you it ready them like the first like verse I suppose about the baby shark it's already got like three different lines now why does the English version just say baby shark over and over again could have gone baby shark do 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 so cute do 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 let's go swim do 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 baby shark or something you know <laughs> because of baby shark single-handedly but the kids who view it in English are not getting as wide a vocabulary as the kids who view it in Japanese or <laughs> Korean that's obvious, obviously facetious. I have no like um, scientific basis to back it up, but like, you know, coming from obviously in a twenty-four-year-old's perspective, just looking at Baby Shark and you know criticizing a, a children's song, which is still widely popular. I don't think many kids really care about the fact that the lyrics aren't as diverse. It's it's more interesting than the other languages, you know. But this is what you're missing out on if you haven't learned another language, you know. The Baby Shark versions, or even other things like that, you you miss out on the lyrical depth that could appear, the lyrical richness which could appear from. Um, watching this person. Is it a nursery rhyme? <laughs> I don't think Baby Shark really counts as a nursery rhyme, but these, these are the sort of things you miss out on. And if you're wondering, what, what are the rest of it looks like, right? Okay, so you got Mama Shark, which is just Mama Shark over and over again in English, but in um, Japanese it's, what is it in Japanese? Mama Zame. Kirei, which just means pretty. Oyoge, swim. Mama Zame, Mama Shark. And then, you know, you got Daddy Shark coming along. It goes Papa Zami, which is just Daddy Shark. Tsuyoizo, which is um, strong, essentially. Tsuyoi is strong in Japanese, and Zo is just sort of something you say to like add an emphasis. It's a very sort of, I think it's a very masculine way of like adding emphasis to a word. So it's going like, yeah, strong, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not fluent in Japanese, so perhaps take what I say with a pinch of salt. It, it's a reasonable translation. And then you got, um, I can't even remember what grandma, <laughs> grandma is in um, Japanese. I think it's Obaha-chan, right? Is either Obachan or Obachan? I don't know. Anyway, she's described as Yasashi, which is kind, you know, sweet and kind. Autograph book. Uh, this must be all these, I'd imagine. And then Grandpa Shark is described as Dandy, which doesn't actually mean Dandy in Japanese. This is one of the words we learn actually in the Japanese class, like specifically, as like an exception. It doesn't actually mean Dandy, literally. It means like classy or something. Like dandies and like very gentleman-like, <laughs> if I recall. <laughs> Um, if that's wrong, by the way, I apologise. But then, the, the, the English lyrics, the, the next verse, I suppose, is Let's go hunt, do 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 Let's go hunt, do 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 Let's go hunt, do 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 I can't remember quite what it is in Japanese, but it's definitely more interesting than that. I think. <laughs> it goes like the shark, shark family. <laughs> Same kazoku or something. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh no, maybe it goes like run away, swim faster, something, something. It's scary. I don't know. Basically, uh, the whole premise I've got here is that each of um, the verses has a different line, I suppose, and each of the lines. <laughs> Just an incredibly poor way of describing it. Each of the verses has a different thing for each line. So rather than repeating the same thing for all things, which I, I suppose is catchy and I suppose is certainly easier to remember, it's just a bit more boring. You know, you're not fleshing up your characters. 
you're, you're a story, but characters are too boring and one-dimensional. You know, in Japanese version, I'm like, oh, you know, what's a defining characteristic of baby shark? Oh, they're cute. They're, you know, they're adorable. They're like, as cute as a button, that sort of thing. What do I know about the English version of baby shark? I don't know. They're a baby and a shark. It doesn't give me enough information. But the Japanese and the Korean ones are just getting far more fleshed out sharks. And honestly, we should not stand for this, this level of translation, which loses part of the plot and the quality, <laughs> the depth of it, the shark family. Anyway, by the way, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but there's a whole, like, baby shark, like, universe, metaverse? Is that what they call now? Cinematic universe? If you want to put it so strangely, if anything. Um... Because unsurprisingly, um, there, there's lots of lots and lots of like, different types of baby sharks um, out there, or like parodies of it. And I remember, of course, um, when, when there's a peak craze, and I, I decided to go look up like all the different ones. Uh, this is just me recording from memory because I can't actually quite re remember off the top of my head which ones they were. But the one that definitely sticks in my head is there was like a disco shark or something. It, it was exactly just like baby shark, except it was just remixing to be like a disco version of the entire thing with like um, disco thematics. And everything but it's got like exactly the same sort of um style of singing and all that sort of thing <laughs> you know but we didn't really change up any of um the lyrics to make it more disco like but the tune doesn't really change up it's still got the same sort of tune it's just like the backing is much more disco e compared to um well a, a non-disco song which by the way i don't even know what particularly constitutes it to be a disco song but you know hi hey ho here we go but, but, but there's lots of different types because you, you can just kind of do it with um like any like any object you just like replace shark with you know there, there was like a car version I remember it was like baby car boom boom vroom vroom or something <laughs> and of course they do that with all of them and by the way this is the English version English versions there could be even more in other languages that you're missing out on I know the baby sharks sort of like fad has well, I, I think it's mostly come and gone. I, I don't know how long fads sort of last when you're a child, to be honest. I'd imagine maybe Baby Shark is still kind of popular within, you know, the not to free your demographic. Um, it's kind of hard to get their opinion on it because it's, you know, not a demographic which particularly should be using the internet <laughs> all that often. But you know what was an interesting thing I did learn about, um, like, YouTube kids and that sort of thing? Is all those kids' videos tend to have, like, really high... Oh, sorry, sorry, like, really equal like-dislike like ratios, or... I suppose comparatively really high dislike ratios for what is rather innocuous and I suppose your initial reaction to that might be is it like people who are really bitter about the fact that Baby Shark got so like ubiquitously popular they're just like I'm gonna go seek out this video and downvote it no, downvote it what is it reddit and like give it a thumbs down immediately because I cannot stand the, the irritating catchiness of this entire song and how how much I hear it everywhere no uh, probably not I, I'd, I'd imagine I mean, I'd imagine, perhaps I, I don't really have any evidence to back this up, but I'd imagine most people won't really do that sort of thing. I think most people would just be like, oh, you know, haha, I'm so sick of hearing Baby Shark anywhere. Oh my god, me too, isn't it everywhere? And then they just go on with their day without, you know, particularly trying to seek out retribution against a company which don't really care if you download the video. But no, it's, um, because their audience is mostly kids or whatever, kids, you know, that's, that they don't have full grasp of exactly what they're doing. That's not meant to be like a knock on kids thing, you know, kids are learning, exactly. I'm not, I'm not going to knock kids for being kids, <laughs> for being children. It's like, oh, how do you not have a fully developed brain yet or anything like that, you know? You, isn't it like you don't get a fully developed brain till 25, so I'm not even there yet, technically. Um, but yeah, but kids are, you know, like, you know, like fumble around with like the iPad or whatever device they might be using to watch YouTube kids, hopefully safely and hopefully regulated and not, they don't have too much screen time um, as a child, but... They sort of just fumbled around with it and accidentally, you know, like, hit the thumbs down button or the thumbs up button with no, like, sense of regard of what they're doing. Which, you know, makes sense. Of course kids are going to accidentally run into those sort of things. It's going to accidentally do something they, they don't mean to do. But it sort of raises the question. It's like, why do you even have, like, a dislike button on YouTube kids? Because YouTube, you don't know, if, if you don't know if you're a creator, um, you can upload videos and you have to mark them being like, is this suitable for kids? Is this, su is this suitable for, like people under 18 of course i say no my my video is not made for kids because it's not made for kids and then i don't think kids would exactly watch this and be like oh you know this is extremely entertaining there's no like bright flashing colors there's no like um maybe not bright flashing colors there's no like characters on screen making like silly voices and being entertaining or speaking slowly enough that uh, children can actually understand what's going on um and honestly i don't think i talk about anything particularly interesting for kids but you know 
and I might see I might be surprised if you're like six year olds and you're watching my video then by all means leave me a comment and be like I am six years old and I'll be like whoa okay <laughs> I'm going to be a bit more cautious perhaps about what I say. But yeah, obviously I don't mark my kids as, um, mark my kids, mark my videos as being for kids and I don't mark them as for being um, for over 18s only because like I, I don't do anything which is particularly explicit I don't think. So yeah, a any video which is marked as for kids in the first place gets like forced to be on YouTube kids in the first place, right? Why, why even bother putting in the like and dislike <laughs> things in the first place? Because if it's kids, if they, they don't even know how to like and dislike in the first place, they're not even going to know what it, what it means. Like, who cares? <laughs> in their eyes. It, it's just like pointless to them, isn't it? Why is that even a functionality? Why is even comments a functionality? Which I imagine is most people, most of the creators probably sort of just like disable them in the first place. But like, I don't know. I, I guess on YouTube's end, they want it as some sort of form of analytics to be like, oh, d it, does this video have a lot of an engage engagement? And pr I'd imagine... I'm not sure, but if you are um, observing the analytics for YouTube Kids, you would not really put much weight on if it was a like or dislike, just how many um, views and how many like likes and dislikes in total there were, because you know, every like and dislike has to be someone watching it. Um, but kids aren't really thinking through whether I should critically like or critically dislike this video from a much more objective or <laughs> observational standpoint. Um, and comments, I'm sure they're just like random mashings or things, just by like accidentally hitting the keyboard. I don't know. Oh, hello, Audie and Raymond chatting. What are you chatting about? <laughs> well, this is the worst. I'm going home. This is all your fault, Raymond. I'm so sorry. I never meant to upset you. Why did you tell me you never played Space Hammer Blaster? It made my victory feel worthless. Oh, we've had this conversation. I lost and I got frustrated. Instead of admitting defeat, I said I'd never played it before. The truth is, I was impressed by your skills. I could barely react to any of your moves. It was wow. Wow, huh? <laughs> I like the sound of that. Tell you what, you can make it up to me by playing again. Sure. It is, it's so strange, I think, almost seeing like Apollo and Phoebe being ones playing, because I, I, I rarely see them as the ones running about. But yeah, um, so if you ever look at Baby Shark and it's like, why does Baby Shark have such a high dislike ratio? How many people are that sort of like um, vengeful that they want to take anger out of Baby Shark by going to dislike a video, which, you know, I don't really think Pink Fong cares because it's sort of just like, oh, you know, you, you gave me another view. <laughs> I suppose we're counting, you know, yeah, the ads are ticking upwards. Actually, can you even monetize YouTube kids' ads, right? Isn't that, like, a, the whole point with um, a lot of YouTube creators being like, I don't want to be put on YouTube kids because one of my videos are not for children and that sort of thing. But it's because, like, you can't put ads on? But, but, but there must be some sort of law like being like you can't advertise specifically to children. So I don't really understand how you make money on YouTube kids, but I'm sure there is a way. No, you must be able to advertise to children. I've always, like... Kids like TV channels wouldn't have adverts on them. No, they definitely did. I'm not really sure how it works. Maybe it's like a, a lower rate of revenue or something. I don't know. It's all over my head because it's not really something I'm particularly well versed in, and you know, I, I, I probably won't need to be well versed in for quite a while. It was surprisingly, but gaining YouTube subscribers up much faster than rate. I don't really know what what's happened. I'm going to chalk it up to the Talus Principle being an entertaining watch for people. Or not? I don't know. Yeah, um, so Baby Shark, uh, it's not really, what is this kind of thing? I don't know. I feel like, <laughs> maybe I'm just in the past, I'm the only one still talking about Baby Shark, and I'm like, remember Baby Shark? Baby Shark, you know what's even crazy is the Baby Shark wasn't, like, I thought Baby Shark was just like a pink fong, like a original creation, where they just made it and then it just like randomly became a, a smash hit for some reason, and then just became sort of like memed and parodied and spiraled out of control, but it was actually apparently originated as a campfire song, and it's not even the first time it's been like commercially released. Why? Because there's a Baby Shark Wikipedia page, which I read at some point. I don't really remember. There's some some guy who made like a, he, he became like a kids entertainer. Like okay, originally it was like a campfire song, which you like do around the campfire, and you but the actual dance moves aren't just made up dance moves. There's actual dance moves you had you, you don't have to, but you're meant to do along with it. You know, like Baby Shark, you just like snap your little uh, your your first first finger and your thumb back and forth, and then like with Mama Shark, you do like your open palms, and Daddy Shark, you do like your whole arm, and then um. Okay, no command mission. Okay, ca catch some bugs. Means catch some bugs and self some things. And then like um, with grandpa and grandma sharks, you do like the same things as with mum and dad, except for you like make your open palms into fists or something like that. Um, I don't know why I told you that. You don't care. But still, <laughs> the whole point is, it's like a 
one of those songs you do around a campfire, which is wild because like, or like summer camp sort of things, which um, I have been to a sort of summer camp things held at my, my school. I'm not going to obviously tell you what it is because I'm not going to like dox myself and be a terrible idea. But the, the one we always sang, which always appeared, I suppose, um, for some reason, whatever you want, is this one called Kumala 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 Vista, which I have no idea if it means anything. But you just go, Kumala, Kumala, Kumala Vista, Kumala, Kumala, Kumala Vista, oh, Nana Vista, oh, Nana Vista. By the way, there's no dance music you could do with it, and I don't know why I still remember it. Yeah, eeny, meeny, that's a meeny, oh, Nana, eeny, meeny, eeny, meeny, that's a meeny, oh, Nana, eeny, meeny. And the last one's something weird, like, Octily Lock and Buck. <laughs> I, I can't remember the last one. It feels very sort of like, like, the, fir the first three very much sound like some sort of, like, um, chant. Of some sort, which um feels very like in character. And the last one's like Octavia Rock and Park, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and it doesn't sound like tonally consistent. I suppose with the whole thing. Do you, I bet if I, I Google it, it will come up. I feel like I've done this before. Now I think about it. Hold on. Ku, 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 how do you spell Kumala? I don't know. Kumala, Kumala, Kumala. Oh, there it is. Kumala, Kumala, Kumala Vista. Song of the week. Kumala Vista. Lyrics in English free. Is that actually here? Hot. It, Kumala 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 Savista. Oh, it doesn't have the rest of it. Kumala Kumala. Ini mini decimini on ale. Exim. Ini mini decimini ula la la. La ini mini. And then it says eximini zalimi. What? Abi abo bubu vida. So what? I don't make any sense. But this is not the version I know. Obviously, um, all of these are sort of, um, Everyone's gonna have their own different versions. Hold on, I found a YouTube video of it, and so I'm just gonna mute it when I want to play it. And it's got the things. Scat and dootin, <laughs> that's it. S scat and dootin, dat and dootin, ra ra ra. <laughs> it's like what? It, 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 it's just not tonally consistent, you know. But this is why you're not as popular as a Baby Shark, you know. At least Baby Shark is tonally consistent throughout the entire thing. You know what to expect. You're like, oh, it's Baby Shark, or whatever. If I find a one, like you suddenly stop talking about sharks or whatever, you were just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know, I can't even think of anything. Uh, I'm not going to be a children's songwriter when I grow up. I wonder, like, if there's much of a science behind, like, how to write a, a kid's song or anything like that. Or is it just, like, super easy, you sort of just put whatever down and it just works, you know? As long as you've got a catchy sort of repeatable tune you got going on, and you repeat it, and you make the lyrics not too difficult to understand, then boom, bada bing, bada boom, you, you can write yourself a kid's song, like Baby Shark. I wonder, how, I wonder where, like, who came up with Baby Shark. You know, someone had to do it. It didn't, like, spring out from nothingness. If it did, that's sort of like a very eldritch. <laughs> that's like a creepypasta or anything, right? The mystery of Baby Shark. That, like, uh, appeared out of nowhere, but, you know? I bet that person, like, they're probably still alive. I can't imagine it was made, like, over 100 years ago. Well, it might have been, but who knows? I I'd wager it was. I'd wager it wasn't. It was made over the last 100 years. So the person who made, who actually made, made Baby Shark is probably still alive somewhere, you know? They're, they're probably seething right now. They've been like, oh man, I could have had like so much more money. I could have given like my children and my grandchildren such a healthy income. I would have been set for literally the rest of my life if I just capitalized upon this opportunity. And also hired some animators, I suppose, and some children to also dance along to the, the Baby Shark song. <laughs> anyway, but... Pinkfong, if you're listening, I don't know why you would be, and you want to remake your Baby Shark, you should remake it and include um, more more varied lyrics in the English version, you know. Put in Baby Shark, it's so cute. It's so, oh, so cute, do, 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 do. let's go swim, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, you know. Translate it properly. Don't just repeat Baby Shark over and over and over again. Anyway, no, any any parents have I can, can you, can you tell me Baby Shark's still a thing, or is it like a bygone era? Or maybe you don't want it to be a thing. <laughs> it's always the impression I get when with children is that they always get like stuck on one particular song, and then once you're stuck on that one particular song, all they want to listen to is that one song over and over again to the maddening insanity of the parents who have to listen to it, which certainly happened, I'd imagine, with um, Frozen and Let It Go. And that sort of makes me reflect on myself because I was like, oh, you know, when Let It Go, I Let It Go came out, I like listened to it on repeat for ages as well. Am I a child? <laughs> Do I have a brain of a three-year-old? Who just wants to listen to Let It Go. And you know what? Let It Go is a good song. Controversial opinion, I know. Oh, man. You know, I'm so brave. I can't believe I'd say Let, Let It Go is a good song, you know? It is a good song, okay? 
maybe in the context of a film it feels a bit random but <laughs> you, you know what's an interesting thing about let it go is originally like elsa was like she was meant to be an evil villain or something of the entire of the entire plot but then let it go was such a good song they were like okay we can't have the evil villain sing the song in a disney movie so they like reformed the plot around elsa or something to not be a villain that's what i've heard i don't know if that's true i might just be parroting false a false narrative so um perhaps don't take everything i say um as my word at face value uh, i don't want more coconuts let's go actually maybe we should get more coconuts we might need to craft something but you know what I, you know what was even crazy about this baby shark is there was a baby shark extended family version well, they had Baby Shark, and then, you know, they sang about, you know, they, they finished introducing Grandpa Shark, and then I was like, wait a second, and then Auntie Shark came in, then Uncle Shark came in, then Cousin Sharks came in, and I was like, what? Well, what, sh not like, what a strange family, I suppose, and, and if anybody, I suppose that's quite a normal family. I suppose you might question why only um, half a family's appeared, because you only got one, one pair of grandmas or, or grandpas, why you couldn't have introduced the other grandmas and grandpas, um, but... I don't know. Aunties and uncles? You know, I, I want to know more about the lore. <laughs> Do you think there's a Baby Shark comic? Wait, wasn't there a Baby Shark um TV show? Like an animated show or something that got made? You know, maybe why I, I was thinking about this in the first place is because um, a, a recent discovery with me and my f with me and some friends is that they made like, uh, Razor, sorry, made like um some weird like tiny like children's cartoon mascot called like Snicky Snack or something, which is now, one, they're adorably cute, and two, has become strangely popular for some reason. Now there's merchandise of it, and there's animated shorts about Snicky Snick. <laughs> and it's got a theme, I can't remember how the theme song goes, so I was, I was going to learn it. It just goes like Snicky Snick, Snicky Snick, Snicky Snick, 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 Snicky Snick, something like that. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but you, you know what I mean. It's got those sort of lines, lines in it. So perhaps, perhaps it is like a, you know, a niche market, which... Or maybe not a niche market, but a much more profitable mar market than I, I initially anticipated. Oh, I don't think we need any more wood. We can just sell them. You know what, mate? You know, maybe it's time for, for D to star in her own little children's cartoon. That'd be weird. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I got the voice to really pull it off in a, a children's cartoon. Okay, we, we can probably talk to three people and then go get Redeem and Nookmar ticket. And then I think we'll be okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I mean, of course it'll be okay, but I mean, I think we'll uh, round off this episode here. So yeah, Baby Shark. I can't believe I haven't titled a video Baby Shark, you know. Think of all the views I've been missing out on by not clickbaiting and titling the video Baby Shark. I suppose I'd be remiss if I didn't give you my own impersonation rendition of Baby Shark. But I'm not going to because it's kind of long. <laughs> it's tiring. Like, it must be, in like, if you're like a, a children's entertainer, you had to sing Baby Shark. Baby Shark gives like no breaks the entire song. It's very repetitive as well. You know? Baby shark, did 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 baby shark, did 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 baby shark, did 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 baby shark. Mom, like that, that's that's your first breath in the entire song. And you got to do that like what, twelve times? Well, not literally say baby shark, but repeat the, the same sort of lyrics and tune twelve times in a row. That's exhausting. <laughs> and, at least other songs like children's songs, I'm sure you can like take breaks. Like. I can't even think of a children's song. <laughs> what's that? What's that really popular one? Oh, like the, the Finger Family, which is just like weirdly popular. Like the, the, the Mama Fing, Baby Finger, Baby Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? So you you, you got nice little pauses, mate. You can you got room to take a breath. You got room to really um. Well, breathe. I suppose I, I just said that, so that's kind of obvious, but um, that's a given. We've still got a little bit of time. I guess I'll put stuff away and then we'll round off this episode. But Baby, baby Shark is too fast paced. Oh, you know what was the greatest thing I remember? I think it was a Baby Shark, like someone made like a DJ remix of Baby Shark or something. I don't know how popular it would have been with children, but it it's the sort of thing where, you know, children just sort of like... When I say children, like kids, like YouTube kids children d d wait, everything's just on autoplay automatically right so they just sort of like randomly they, they watch like the original baby shark video which the parents have like put on for them and then it just like auto plays them like every other baby shark sort of variation by the same um creators which is probably why they churn out so many of them so they can sort of have high engagement on their channel on their channel alone 
I'm tempted to say if it's sneaky, but it's not particularly sneaky, I suppose. It's just sort of like, um, it makes sense in the end, I guess, <laughs> from a business perspective. But yeah, I don't know. Love it, love it, baby shark. I, I feel like we're, we're past the, the stage of people hating baby shark. Now, nowadays, it, you know, and it's not as ubiquitous anymore. People, it, I, I'm not going to say people look back and they'll be like, oh, I remember the good old days of baby shark. But we'll probably look, look back on it and be like, oh, yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> but then all the parents out there will be like, it's still a thing. My child listens to it every day. Anyway, I don't know. It was, it was a bit off a rails uh, YouTube video, uh, Animal Crossing video, but we'll end up with an episode here. So, if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Dear Darling, Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we we'll can see each other again, but for now, it's our farewell. So, until next time, baby shop. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. I don't know. It's, it's, it's terrible. Just, just stop this video.